This is how Cairo Road in Lusaka Central Business District, CBD, looks like hours after the removal of vendors on Tuesday. There's free movement of people and traffic is flowing smoothly. The situation is the same on Freedom Way and Chachacha Road. And this is exactly what government hopes to achieve now and forever. No more operations. It's about uh, restoring the usage of public assets because they are meant to benefit everyone in the public as opposed to being, uh, being an inconvenience to the general public. So that's, uh, that's the reason behind it. They simply go to the local authorities and they'll be, they can be given trading places in the market. That is, if they're ready to go into in the markets. In uh, Lusaka particularly, City Market has a number of trading places in Chawama, in Matero, in Mandevu. Across the city, there are a number of uh, trading places which uh, are available. The vendors' makeshift stores were destroyed by authorities in a bid to restore sanity. But this came as a shock to the vendors. <laughs> During the same operation, over 50 buses were impounded by the Road Transport and Safety Agency, RTSA. There's this issue of where you impound someone, they pay the fine, the following day they'll be back in the CBD doing the same thing they've been doing. So we want to look at those who are repeat offenders so that we can either consider revoking the driver's licenses or also revoking you know, the road service license which allows someone to operate as a public service vehicle operator. According to Mr. Mangolwa, the exercise is ongoing for the next four weeks. Patricia Mapiki, ZNBC News, in Lusaka.